So we're here with Coach Salas, obviously the brain trust behind uh, Ugas. And uh, talk about this fight for us. First, let's talk about how was camp. How was sorry. camp? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the camp was great. And like every time or every or anyone here in boxing, when you got fight the way we we, we have with Champ Porter, great champion, always a guy who is in shape. So we have to do our best always working with the all the fundamentals, uh, working with the all part of the training program and fitness and everything and uh, we we've been doing good, very good. Was Sean a difficult person to uh, prepare for? I know you guys have done some rounds. How many rounds did you have y'all done together? 150. Sean Port and Ugas have done 150 rounds? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, you mean oh, about oh, the oh, sparring? You, know, you sparred 150 rounds? Yes, 100, game. yes. How many rounds did you and Port do? Uh, it, was, it was like like a two or three rounds only, um, and no, not really, not really, nothing behind. Uh, actually, uh, we was calling to the uh, Champorte gym, not for Champorte. He was helping uh, one British guy who was in, in his gym. And we went there, but uh, Champorte liked to to do some like a two or three round, and we did. But it's nothing special. It, it was, uh, I believe Champorte, he was uh, just warming up for his camp, and at, at we are the same. We was not fighting that time. He just helping uh, the British guy, and yeah, it's not, nothing special. Yeah. How was the preparation? What did you have to prepare for for Sean Porter? Uh, I'm in addition no. to him being in condition. You know, um, is, it, is it a special punch? Is it his Yeah, no. Agility? Look, look, look what I say. Like uh, many people uh, who not realize uh, uh, Jordan Gas is the guy. Is, the kind of guy is, is Olympic guy. He being for like a 12 year uh, in the row in Cuba, being a champion from the different levels. Uh, is the guy who went to Olympics, is the guy who got the bronze medal and uh, because of you know the politics in, in boxing, he can be a gold medal in the Olympic 2008. But anyway, he got the bronze and is the guy who been in professional for a while. He been learning through the process already in professional. Is the guy who came, came to us with the three losses um, after that, we we've been working like um, a, a, a a yeah a, a in the row. Um, he's doing good. Yeah. Sean Porter said something about how they finish their punch. He says Cubans finish they how you doing? Cubans finish their punch differently. Do Cubans finish their punches uh, different than Americans? Than nah, American li, li, no, no. You know, like I, I telling you what. Uh, he Champorte or any or any of the uh, any fighter, not only Americans, uh, cannot cannot judge how the Cuban doing because if for real, the Cuba been doing better than any country in amateur. In amateur, you know what I mean. So how you can how can you complain or blame when you yourself you cannot be you did not make anything in in amateur. You know, so uh, we have uh, many Cuba coming to the United States for for a while. We got uh, Joel Casamayor, uh, the clear example. We got uh, Islandi Lara. We got uh, Rigondo. We got different guys being around, and um, much or less, they've been doing good. Now, if you tell me about the uh, approach or mentally approach of the Cuban fighter, this is true. It's special. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a true because uh, um, they've been, you know, Cuba been for like more than uh, almost uh, 50 years uh, in communist system. Um, everybody know uh, in Cuba disappeared the professional boxing for, for long. And Cuba in the past, it was a uh, one of the best co country in professional before that. Even I can tell you the first uh, WBC World Away champion was uh, a Cuban. <laughs> you know what I mean? Professional, I mean. So uh, I, I always respect uh, all the people saying they have different 
different point of view. But one thing for real, uh, Champot he will face the reality tomorrow, and he he has to prove. Do you think he's over? Do you think Port is overlooking this? Yeah, but uh, actually, uh, I don't. Uh, okay, we've been doing the uh, homework from Port, you know, and everybody know Port. Port is no gifted fight. He's not the gifted fight. No, come on, Port is for me as a technician is the worst champion. He's He's something I can tell you. His willpower is huge. His uh, 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 fitness always he's in shape, no doubt. But if we're looking at, at boxing, as, as you look at boxing of uh, uh, art, it's a far away, far, far away. That's why he lost with uh, Kerbrook. And who is Kurt Brook? And he lost. He won with Danny Garcia. He got lost. Uh, he won with Garcia. But something going on in the later round when Garcia started to do the right thing. So I respect. It's what all way I respect any any opponent. But uh, but but uh, you know what I mean. Everybody have a, a hole. And. Um, come on, if you overlook my boy or my fighter, don't worry. We, we keep going. Um, just go to the, re, uh, the time on Saturday night. And if you are great, you have to prove it. Is it the overhand right or the uppercut? Because he's right hand dominant in terms of his power side. Um, it, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Uh, Ugas, no, he, he using a. a he got a. You know what? Ugas. From all the new generation of Cuban fighters, Ugas is the better at just. I've been working, i the one who made champion Rigondo, myself, your de, um, Ugas, Francis Barthelemy, uh, Odlanier Solis, Eris Landilara. And I can tell you, from all those guys, Ugas is the guy who have a, a better professional approach. More so than Laura. Yeah. Yeah. That's saying a lot. So if, if, you, if you say, I the one who started Laura until the 11th fight. Okay. You know? Um, Laura is a very uh, talented fighter, like a very technician fighter. But everybody knows, or everybody saw, uh, at the real time, a lot of missing something to to dominate. Another gear. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's different than Ugas. Sure, sure. Ugas sitting more in his punch. La, Lara is the guy who got a beautiful angles, um, beautiful punch, but uh, missing some some of it to, to talk about profession. You no, know? um, Ugas from all those guys uh, is is better. His his losing it was for for not for his talent. It was for the personal reason. He got a season when he got problem with uh, wife uh, sickness and pregnant and and then he lost. And if somebody, uh, if you know in boxing, if any fighter has uh, been winning for a long time, when he lost, is 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 devastating. Very devastating. And like uh, when he came to me, I, I have to work more than technique or something. I have to work with the mental thing. Uh, because it's, it, it's, it's tough to rebuild himself. And you did it, eight in a row? Uh, yeah, um, we did together. No, I know I don't like to you say. Helped. You helped. Yeah, you yeah, helped. yeah. But I, you know, I use always my, my experience. I've been for 47 years in boxing. You know, um, Back in Cuba, I was with the, I the one who made Casamayor, I the one who made Felix Sabon, three time Olympic gold medal. The best bosser uh, thing in Cuba, it was, I was the boss. What year was from that? From Guantanamo. Guantanamo, Cuba. What year was that? 
Eh, ah, I start from the 73. <laughs> until, until 1989 was the last last time I was in in Cuba. I left Cuba in in 1989. So since that time, I been in Thailand six world champion, in Japan three world champion, in Australia two world champion. I got 21 world champion now. I I used to be WBA 1996 trainer of the year. I know that. You know so. Uh, I've been a while for so I use my experience is what I mean. I never care about me. I because in boxing I like to be always behind my fighter. I the one who support them to build their name. And I, I love and I like to be always in the back seat. Never front seat. I guide, but there are the ones who fight. You know, so it's my always that's why I respect not only my fighter. Every fighter, everybody involved in boxing, they, they, everyone works so hard. To be a fighter, you know, you being around, it's hard, tough life. Oh, it's tough life. So, so it's the respect everybody earns, it's the respect I give to everyone. You know, so about my opponent, he, he can say anything. I, I work for win. sure he, he work for, for that too. I'm sure he was so hard. That's why he always in shape. But my boy, he have a new chance. You know, like a, a, a golden chance in his life. This <laughs> is first step up fight. Sean, uh, Sean, Sean said yesterday that he's been on this level as an amateur, but not as a pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it was a process. You know, it was a process. And um, yeah, we have to take the challenge. Why not? You want Earl Spence next or Mikey Gar? Who wins? No, no, you know, you, you, you know, you know. I, I like to say that way. No, I, do, I cannot say. No, we, we need somebody. No, come on. We need to find on to, on March night uh, the big, big. It will be a it's big, big challenge. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You, you understand what I mean? So I cannot say. I even I, I never think. If if we have to fight with somebody, if we win, Luis Cuba Junior is the one who decide. I follow. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any last words for Sean Porter before you hit? Head no, I, I, I really, uh, I, I am a Christian person, Christian, uh -huh. um, and I pray, I pray for both sides. Number one, to be safe. Um, and number two, the winner will be the best guy that night. So, I wish he do his best. My boy, we will do his best. The one who used the better strategic during the fight and tactic is the one who will get the fight. And any either side who win is the blessed. So after you pray, does who just win by decision or knockout? <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I really, I let, let let's say we are a human. Yeah. Even we have our own religion. And we, we need to win. We need to win. That's why we work so hard. But I pray for the better of, of human kind. Yeah, okay? Appreciate you, man. Yeah, you no something. problem. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you.